And a center fielder. And you know something else? He never led the National League in home runs. Well, he was, too, he, didn't do. he was too busy changing positions. <laughs> Hit 475, but never led the league. He led the league in hitting seven times. And speaking of hitting, here's Vinny Castillo to lead it off top of the ninth. And the ball club trails 11 to 4, and he fouls the first pitch back. Cimarelli in line for a save. He will work three innings if he completes this inning and save it for Rick Sutcliffe. Sutcliffe went five and a third through 105 pitches, which 62 were strikes. Mike Perez came in, faced one batter. Rob Murphy faced one. And since then, it's been Frank Cimarelli. Marvin got a wake-up call. Got a bouncer over there. Marvin rubbing up the baseball. We told Marvin last night that he couldn't afford in a situation with the fight to be thrown out because as short as the ball club is in a close ball game, they might need his bat late in the ninth or the tenth. Yeah, I mentioned that earlier, but I was talking to Don Baylor. We know that Lightning's not going to strike twice in the same season. <laughs> And it is inside, and it is two balls and two strikes. What did you say about um, about Marvin's hitting? That if it, if it was water, he couldn't fall out of the boat. I said if I said if the boat capsized, he wouldn't hit water. <laughs> and this one has popped up, and Ozzy is there. Pretty good lesson for you youngsters out there. The greatest shortstop maybe ever catches with two hands. Forget the hot dogs to catch with one hand. Watch what Ozzie Smith does. All right, one away, and here's Walt Wise. And take another look at Ozzie Smith. Always has played the game with two hands, the way the game is supposed to be played. So does Walt Weiss. And speaking of Walt Weiss, he is now the hitter, and he is a big fan of Ozzie Smith. He says he watches him take infield when uh, he's sitting on the bench. And his ball club is hitting, and Ozzy is after. He watches what he does, the way he positions himself, the way he sets himself up. He said, you can learn a lot from watching the best. And that catches the corner. One ball and one strike to count to Walt White. Walt is one for three in the ball game. He was on in a walk and was aboard when Howard Johnson hit the two-run home run. It looked as if the Colorado Rockies were going to get back in the ball game. But every time that they would get close, here's the 2 1 bit. The Cardinals didn't just get it back in, they exploded again. And the big explosion, of course, was the four run explosion in the bottom of the seventh. Lankford with a three run home run. Witten with a single, Pena with a single, and McGriff with the RBI. And Weiss is aboard. Well, if the Cardinals had a kangaroo court, Cimarelli would just be fine there for walking the batter with a seven-run lead. And here is the home run hitting Howard Johnson. Hojo one for four in the ballgame. So he is now two for eight in the series, and both of his hits have been home runs. Likes to hit in this ballpark. And this is not known as a hitter's ball bar. No, fences have come in a little bit over the years, but he's hit 14 career homers here. And this one is going to get away from McGriff. And Weiss is going to head for third, and he'll get there. One of the best base runners in baseball, Walt Weiss. Maybe not the speediest, but he always knows when to take the extra base. Very rarely ever makes a base running error. He knew that he saw over the corner of his shoulder. McGriff couldn't find the ball. He knew he could easily make third base. And it is a wild pitch, Chies to Cimarelli. And here's what happened. Now Weiss is going to second. He knows McGriff is all turned around. Right now, Walt goes, I'm going to third. Cimarelli finally has to point to where the ball is. And the 1 0 pitch to Hojo. And it's a deep fly ball. No, it's shallow. I thought it was going to carry more. And Weiss will tag. And here comes the throw. It's way off line. He was faking and did not come in. I thought it was going to carry a lot further than that and just died. Well, if that's a one-run game, Don Zimmer's going to send Walt Weiss, but when you're down by seven, you just can't take any chances. You don't have the foresight to know that that throw's going to be that far offline, and you don't have the perfect perspective from third base anyway. Howard hit that out towards the end of the bat. 
Langford a pretty decent arm and as shallow as that ball is Zim just can't take a chance. So now we have two away while he's still at third and the hitter is Dante Bichel. Dante is one for four in the ball game and that is the butt single and he's one for nine in the series and that's been it so far and this one is bounced over Walt Weiss's head and what was ducking as the bullpen comes up with a souvenir and perhaps we'll toss it into the waiting arms of a Cardinal fan. Oh and one the count to Bichette. Cardinals won last night 9-7 lead here 11-4. And he misses. Let's update some scores in from the West Coast. Phillies Dodgers. David West is pitching for the Phillies. He's done quite a job coming out of the bullpen. Dodgers. Mets pounding on the pods. Everybody beats the pods except the Rockies. And here's a fly ball right field. And Whitten is there. And that is the ball game. 11 runs on 17 hits for St. Louis. The Rockies have four runs on nine. And the Cardinals take the first two of the four games here at Bush Stadium in the heat of St. Louis. And we'll be back in just a moment. Pena, who's been killing the Rockies, hit number seven. Howard Johnson and Ray Langford also homered. Not a park that's very conducive to the home run ball, but they were well struck tonight. Again, uh, it's a that warm evening that <laughs> we just decided to forego putting on the jacket for the clothes. Uh, the good news, and we always try and find, you know, the bright spark, or is there one? And it's the fact that there was some rest in the bullpen. Of course there's always a bright spot. <laughs> Mike Munoz, who had pitched eight yeah. times in eight days, didn't stir. Yeah. Darren Holmes, who was beaten up yeah. last night, he needed a night off. Yeah. Bruce Ruffin will be stronger if the Rockies can get a lead tomorrow. And uh, Steve Reed, yeah. who's been wearing an ice bag on the arm because he's been overworked. He didn't have to pitch again tonight. So, you know, Don Baylor knows that in a 162 game season, you do have to lose some battles if you're going to survive and maybe win the overall war and improve on last year's record. I mean, that's the goal of this club this year. And nobody likes to take a beating, but sometimes you have to. All right, and we'll step aside. We'll be back to St. Louis in just a moment. 